And welcome back everybody to Swooning Over Stands, a grunkle dating simulator. I'm Party God Douglas and this is Travis. Right here. Our favorite residential grunkle stand. That's also me. <laughs> you know what? I'd uh well, I'd really like that trailer. He's smiling in a way that lights up his face like you haven't seen before. You're smiling too, <laughs> wide and goofy, full of sheer giddiness you can't contain. There's something intoxicating about it. With that feeling running through you, it's a hard fall back to Earth. Uh, hey, uh, can you help me get these gloves off? What are you talking about? <laughs> Stan laughs, loud and free, and obliges. <coughs> it's later that day, just after dinner, when you get around to telling Stan about your time at the diner. So I guess I'm asking, is it always like that around here? People talking about my love life? <laughs> I mean, after you survived Mabel, everyone else is small fry. <laughs> There's not that much to talk about in this town, so when a tourist crashes their car into the jewel of the town at the peak of the season, well, that's prime material. <clears throat> Enough of that, though. Now I thought we'd go have a, well, a private movie night, you know? <sighs> To wind down a little, I, I keep the movies in that cabinet there. Uh, stick to the left, not to the right. <laughs> Go on and pick one. Are on the a... left, not on the right. Oh man, are we about to Netflix and chill? <clears throat> but like, for 60 year olds? What? <laughs> you open it up to reveal a stack of VHS tapes and a few DVDs. <clears throat> what do you want to watch? A heart-rending classic drama, a stomach-churning horror film, a documentary you're assuming is Ford's. I already know which one's out. <clears throat> hey, don't pick that one that's Sixers. I'm telling you right now, I'll hate it. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm thinking a heart-rending classic drama. He really likes because, those. <clears throat> yes, oh, yes. He's a secret fan. Yes. <clears throat> It's an old black and white movie about a young woman whose lover has to leave the country to pursue his dreams. At the film's climax, right as he's about to get onto the boat to sail off for foreign lands, the lovers kiss as violins swell. They promise never to forget each other, and he sails away, knowing they'll never see each other again. <laughs> you hear the sniffling, and after confirming that it didn't come from the TV, you realize it's coming from your left from Stan. <laughs> He's resolutely staring at the TV with a deep-set frown on his face, but his eyes shine with withheld tears. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Stan really is a romantic at heart. Who'd have thought? What are you talking about? Why could you come back? Good call, Mabel Chong. <laughs> Can't you see that she's your dream? <laughs> <clears throat> You act like you didn't know this and continue to watch as the heroine returns to her average life, clearly no longer satisfied with the mundanity. Feeling comfortable, you <clears throat> shift your position a bit to rest your head on Stan's shoulder. Hey, uh, <laughs> getting sleepy? No, I'm just getting comfy. <laughs> a little bit, but I gotta see how this ends. There's no way she's gonna go on like that. Ah, your hair smells great. <laughs> oh, I mean, this movie sounds great. <laughs> Stan chuckles before making a sound of excitement. Oh! Wow, oh, look! This is the best part! <laughs> he said that about three times already, but you don't mind at all. Not long after, the film concludes, leaving exactly what the woman did when she returned to the dock late at night. Unclear. Setting up for a sequel you know Stan has in his collection. <coughs> the end credits scroll across the screen against a melancholy orchestral accompaniment. That was a good movie, or that was a good movie and you're crying? He might not appreciate if having... We point, if we yeah. point it out, yeah. yeah. But if you say that was a good movie, he'll definitely just be like... By the time the credits are over, you're sleepy enough that you can't imagine getting up from your spot. <laughs> you're, it's a good movie, also you're crying. <clears throat> Stan feels the same, but the jarring shift of the TV screen from black to loud, snowy static 
brings him to his feet. Oh, there we go. He grumbles, switching the unit off, but not bothering to take the tape out. You were right. That was pretty good. Well, of course I was, Tyler. What are you talking about? I'm really good at this. <laughs> Stan offers you his hand to help you up and out of your seat, and you accept. Your eyes meet for a moment, the faint glow of the table lamp catching in them before you break the silence with a laugh, smiling tiredly. Thanks for the session today. My arms are sore, so I hope that means it's working. It's then you realize your hand is still in Stan's, and he beams at you. No, <laughs> uh, definitely. Well, good night then, Stan. I'll see you in. You glance at the clock. A few hours, I, I guess. Sure thing. Um, well, good night, trailer. Yes. Yes. Almost halfway there. Oh, oh. I can feel it in the air, drunk old <laughs> lovin', and I just don't care. Oh, oh, come on, don't stare. Because before that would have been like the midway point. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maybe it'll start moving really fast here soon. Yeah. Because we're starting to, you know, because we did like two like intimate things <clears throat> in a row, yeah. which is good. Because usually it's been like a uh, little bit of this. A dating sequence, a little bit of this, a dating sequence, a little bit of this, a dating sequence. <clears throat> that's not our midpoint. Yep. Snort, snort. I'm assuming that's a... <clears throat> Mabel? What in the... You open your eyes. You're being stared Call down it. by a fat, wet snoot. <clears throat> ah! Oink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Waddles, it's you. The plump pig is lying on your chest and, boy, is a... Real hefty. Uh, it's I probably Mabel. <clears throat> Mabel. Trailer! Ah! You jolt up at the sudden voice from above you, sending waddles falling from your chest into your lap with a scree. <laughs> you turn to see Mabel, all metal filled, smi metal filled smile and rosy cheeks, barely able to contain her glee despite nearly scaring the life out of you. <clears throat> hey there, sleepyhead! It's already lunchtime! <clears throat> Is it? What happened to breakfast? A glance at your phone tells you that you slept in past noon. Instead of leaving and letting you get ready for the day, Mabel sits right down on the edge of the mattress with you and looks at you expectantly. <clears throat> so, how have things been going with Grunkle Stan? Has he told you about feelings yet? <gasps> have you two kissed? Uh... You're not sure you would tell her even if either of those did happen. Uh, yeah, sure, both things. <laughs> Lots of times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Why don't you ask Dan? <clears throat> well, no, neither of those happened. Hmm, what do you think? <clears throat> well, I feel like if we say, oh, yeah, sure, both things, lots of times, that'll, you know get back to us in a way that we don't like. like I know, but at the same time, I want to see what her reaction is. <clears throat> it's up to you, bro. Uh, but, but what if Stan's all like, none of that happened? Why are you spreading stories about me, Trailer? Trailer, can you answer another question? Why is it sometimes when we talk, you just sort of stare off into nothingness? <laughs> is it because you think about what to say? Come on, Trailer, it's not like life is made up of dialogue choices you can just pick. That'd be silly. <laughs> <coughs> the screen glitches out. Just Mabel. <laughs> oh, God. Um, it's up. It, it really is up to you. Oh, you can go. I love it. <coughs> I'm gonna hold you accountable, Travis. Go for it. Really? Oh. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Trailer, you're just joking. That wasn't very nice, but that it was <laughs> awesome. Okay, maybe there haven't been any milestones, but things are going great, right? Milestones? There have been plenty of milestones, Mabel. <clears throat> you just don't understand adult romance. I think I know plenty. I watch Tipper all the time. Oh, oh w Wendy, I, uh, why are you wearing a tight little sweater? Oh, no. <laughs> it's fall. <laughs> oh, they're going to be everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. Puberty hits us all in different ways. Could I... What do you think? 
What do you think? Yes. Absolutely! Definitely! And I think you should tell him how you feel! Right now! I'll keep that in mind, but... Can I get... No! Right now! Can I get changed? No! Right now! Mabel, I'm, like... I'm... <clears throat> I, I'm covering myself with a blanket right now, but I, I need to put on some actual pants. Oh, of course you're naked. Why wouldn't you be? It's hot in this <clears throat> room. <laughs> oh, Tryler. All right. <sighs> Silly me. Come on, Waddles. It's lunchtime. They leave, and you're left with your thoughts. And your afternoon wood. That was just completely coincidental and had nothing to do with a 13-year-old coming into your room. Don't think that. That's not why that happened. <laughs> With all the hectic supernatural stuff in Gravity Falls that is inexplicably often finds itself in or near the shack, you haven't been able to spend much significant time with Stan since your boxing session. Wait, so does, okay. does stuff happen off screen? Has stuff been happening off screen that we just haven't been seeing? Well, on that thought to ponder, that's where we're going to end this episode. So, thank you everybody for joining along with us. <clears throat> We can't wait to have you join us. Oh, look, got to optimize our PC. Can't wait to have oh you boy. join us in the rest of our adventure. Because remember, every video is a party, and you're all invited to the next one. See you next time. Thank you, and have a good night.